What is going on, everybody? Guys, we need to talk about Ben. And remember, Ben means many things to many people. We're going to talk about the Ben token and the person that's taken it over. And I believe that the force is strong in this one. So it looks like uh, Ben Armstrong from BitBoy Crypto will take over the Ben coin, which is an incredible development in the crypto space, but it's what he's going to do with this opportunity that's going to matter the most. So we're going to check our price action, and we're going to check out a little bit of the ecosystem here. We learned a little bit from Ben over the weekend about uh, what you know I've been calling out for a long time, uh, that dirtbag organization known as Cointelegraph, Barry Silbert, and the lying, cheating, conniving dirt bags at the top of cryptocurrency and hopefully uh ben armstrong is going to be the hero that we've all been hoping for in this long in this long journey that we have in front of us so uh, let's check price action first and let's see where we're going now uh, as you can see we do have some resistance that's built up most of the cryptos that launched in this period did the same thing they had this little uh, they had their breakout and they had their big moves. And then that secondary move, you have to make a decision on this secondary move. Like, does it break above and start to create new highs or does it not? Can it get this, by the way, was going to be the next goal on at 2380. Uh, doesn't look like we're going to hit that because some things have changed. Now, what's changed? Well, uh, let's go over here. First of all, there's 15,732 holders, or I should say second of all. Uh, Ben.eth, who was the original person who had launched Ben, is leaving the project and he is, quote unquote, selling it to Ben Armstrong, Bitboy Crypto. And he, Ben ETH, has moved on to a PSYOP. Now, because Ben ETH has moved on to PSYOP and uh, is still going to stay around as an advisor, according to a post by uh, Bitboy Crypto, because Ben.eth is still going to stay around as an advisor, you must understand a few things. First of all, uh, Ben ETH is a pretty good marketer uh, for the last PSYOP thing that he's been doing as 204,000 engaged views. Uh, and as you go down the list here, you'll see not a huge amount of engagement views, but the people that are talking about it are also getting gigantic engagement off of it. So he's created this, this system by which people are super excited about PSYOP because he did a presale. You know, did, a, did a lot of things, annoyed a lot of people. And here's the thing, any marketing in cryptocurrency is good marketing. It's what you do with that marketing that really is a testament of your character. Now, uh, if he is a smooth operator who's going to create something out of this PSYOP, then great. He, he's done He's done a great thing. If he hasn't, he's gotten $5 million. Uh, hopefully it'll, you know, hopefully this is going to cause a gigantic run on one token and anybody who got involved in it has an opportunity to make a dollar or $2 or $3. Who knows? Uh, but it, it would be great if, if there was some opportunity right there because it's good exposure for what matters. And that is Ben and thus BitBoy Crypto. Because uh, at some point today, allegedly, uh, by the way, I, I'm a genius for that, right? Uh, uh, but um, uh, and look, I, I, I I've said before that I think that that Ben Armstrong, uh, whether you like him or not, and and look, Ben's not always going to be the, the the perfect guy to say the the right thing at all times. None of us are. But he's passionate about cryptocurrency. He's passionate about uh, crypto adoption. He's passionate about stopping the people who disagree uh, from manipulating. Right? Uh, he looks out and and he's fighting the Liz Warrens of the world. And these are the people that want to control you. They, they, they want to own you. They don't think that you're smart enough to handle your own finances and say what you will pol politically. And, and, and you're fair. It's fair for you to have whatever. Um, I'm not talking about your, your, your political bias. I'm talking about cryptocurrency. Liz Warren wants to control you. She wants to force you to keep using that U.S. dollar. She wants to force you to keep doing all of the things that are good for the big banks that pay her. So whatever area of the political aisle you lean, it doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is cryptocurrency. And he is out here fighting the good fight 
in cryptocurrency. When FTX started to collapse and when he knew it was happening, he was going to the Bahamas. He was going after uh, he was going after all of the bad actors in that space way before some of us even had an inkling of what was going on. In fact, most of you still thought that Sam Bankman Freed was a good guy. And you can laugh and joke right now, but you thought he was a good guy up until this was happening. And you thought uh, maybe uh, BitBoy, I, and look, I watched your tweets. You thought maybe he was lying about it. You thought maybe he was just trying to, to do something. Even I did. Even I thought, eh, maybe he you know, could be chart. You never know. Could be chart manipulation, whatever. Um, but it wasn't. He was absolutely right about everything when it came to Sam Bankman Free. Now, uh, so taking us up to today, Saturday night, Ben released, Ben Bitboy Crypto, uh, released a video that said the most powerful crypto ever, why Ben Coin is a movement. And I, I urge you and implore you to go watch this. 34,000 of you have already watched. There's only 15,000 investors though, by the way. So about 18,000 of you assholes uh, didn't uh, buy into Ben. Like what is wrong with you? Um, so what he is doing, what, what the idea here is, uh, Ben Coin going forward is going to finance. It's going to be part of. It's going to be the token for a a movement, and that movement is the adoption of cryptocurrency. And uh, Bitboy intends to create an ecosystem out of Ben Coin that's going to make that a reality. Now, if that doesn't excite you and thrill you in cryptocurrency, you're not paying attention because during the middle of it, he points out. Uh, gives it to you for free, by the way. Uh, and these other people, they probably charge you for it. But he points out that Cointelegraph, again, one of the most dirtbag organizations, Barry Silbert and the Digital Currency Group are the dirtbags, the scumbags, the lying, cheating, stealing people. Barry Silbert, by the way, the bankrupt Barry Silbert uh, that we just talked about with Ge uh, Genesis. Uh, you know, this guy is out here not only bankrupting companies because he can't manage his finances right or he can't manage the business finances right, but he's out here, look around. He's telling you which he's literally trying to manipulate you and tell you what you should or shouldn't buy, right? He's the one out here telling you which token is a great token, which token is a good token, uh, all of the alarming different signals, et cetera, et cetera, going down the list. He's been doing it for years. Uh, he's been using his media to manipulate you. And look, if you don't think the media in some ways manipulating you, you're being manipulated. Uh, the, manip the, the, the manipulation is on a gigantic scale. Now, is it active and is it malicious? Most of the time, no. Barry Silbert. Yes, they know exactly what they're doing right here. There's no, um, uh, there's no liberal bias. There's no conservative bias when you're shilling coins or tokens. There's no bias in that. The bias is is political ideology, right? Um, this is not. This is manipulation. You're being manipulated um, actively by Barry Silbert and the dirtbags that follow Barry Silbert and bankrupt companies and rip you off. But this is all about Ben. So uh, what do we think is going to happen with Ben? Well, we're going to get an announcement later today, should have an announcement later today, that BitBoy Crypto has taken over uh, the keys to everything, the quote unquote keys to the kingdom on Ben. So we're probably going to see, uh, we're going to see a new uh, a new uh, logo very soon. Probably not a little dog. We're probably going to see a, a, a nice logo uh, representative. I'm going to assume it's going to look more like this uh, than it is uh, a dog. I, I would think there's not really much of a reason to, to change it. Go with what works and brand yourself and, and, and branch it out. Maybe have a little bit of a variation on it, but uh, I, I would think that you're going to see that BitBoy logo uh, prominently featured. And then some of the uh, big things on uh, Twitter, which we won't get into right now, but is it possible that you can use your Bencoin to uh, to, 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 to gamble with on stake.com. I think that might be a possibility pretty soon. What he's doing right now is creating value. Uh, originally he didn't want to put it on centralized exchange. He want to leave it in, in completely in DeFi, but that has changed now. And it's very possible that we're going to see futures trading for the Ben coin on MEXC possible. I have no inside knowledge that would tell me that that is or isn't the case, but I, I would think that MEXC description below, by the way, if you want to sign up, uh, it is in, in the, the, the potential future and that some branching out into new centralized exchanges is probably going to be because he knows, uh, and, and by that, I mean, uh, Ben Armstrong, BitBoy Crypto, he knows that building a crypto in the cryptocurrency space right now 
does require a little bit of acquiescence to the centralized exchanges. So uh, I would think that that, that Ben Armstrong is going to put you on some of the better of the exchanges. And that helps the price action. And that price action helps the investment in the movement to make something more happen on uh, the Ben coin and thus for the benefit of cryptocurrency. We need regulation. We need uh, we need good actors. We don't need uh, dirtbags like Gary Gensler. We don't need the worst of everybody. Uh, we don't need those people in cryptocurrency. We don't need those people looking out for cryptocurrency. We don't need those people involved in cryptocurrency. What we need are good actors who want cryptocurrency adoption everywhere. Uh, value notwithstanding, we need uh, people who are not bad actor. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you like the content, hit the like button, uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified of future content. If you want more people to see this, make sure you like, make sure you comment because uh, it certainly helps me out. And remember, this is not financial advice. My name is Beliefs. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in and we will talk to you again very